I mean, we might die from all the fumes, <laughs> but I doubt it. It's galvanized, so to just make us sick, it won't kill us. Ah, for being such a sissy. Jesus. Tack. <laughs> attack there. Let's get a little tack attack down here. Alrighty then. My super high dollar fabrication <laughs> clamping square. That's a uh, Neil Spence trick there. My buddy Neil Spence put me on the alligator clamp and a big speed square to my angles. It's nicer than the magnets because they can mess up your um, arc a little bit. That seems to work all right. <laughs> you see the spark over there? Yeah. We'll accidentally tack it to the tape. I mean, it won't be the worst thing I ever did. saw a guy the other day that had a phone, had a big piece of cardboard and had a square cut out in his phone like in it. He was using it for a welding <laughs> shield. <laughs> I don't know if he lost his hood or what. I thought, well, that's kind of a neat idea. Can you see good? <laughs> it seemed, <clears throat> you got a little bit of a um, blur on the light, but other than that, I mean, you can see what you're welding on pretty good. You just have to figure out how to center the camera part in between your eyes or something. Yeah. Use like VR goggles. Yeah. When you're That's where everything's going. Stupid glasses. <laughs> Be a grinder too, instead of just a welder. <laughs> That's what the welding apprentices are for. You just can't see, man. That's my problem. I don't see well enough to weld anymore. Too. I got a little hot, Nona. 
you know, <clears throat> if it's not welding good, just keep welding it. We'll just stack more in there. That's right. Some old bubble gum in there. Luckily, I got one of these flap attacks. <laughs> Dang a race car. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> phone back. I'm welding this thing for Shannon Bird, and then I got to go do a service call, apparently, that just came in. I mean, I could have told the lady that, I guess, but I didn't, so there's that. Wow, that's way off. That's kind of crazy. 15 and 7 sixteenths. Just like Fido's asshole in there. Jeez. Video of that. <laughs> Jagger's like, oh, well, since we're not doing anything, we're going here and get a pound of ice cream. We'll be exposed on YouTube. <laughs> What'd you do today, Jagger? That work. Oh, I ate ice cream. 
mean, this is the only tool I've touched today with the spoon, so. <laughs> Man, this is like. Okay, I got it on video. Yeah. You do realize that I edit these videos, right? Yeah, I was I about just to say like that. stick it straight out there. So all that crap, you know, I can just edit that off of it. <laughs> Let me get in that comment section on YouTube. Yeah, you go right ahead, <laughs> big boy. Jeez. No love lost there. I don't know what made Because you didn't grind it beforehand. Yeah, because I didn't clean this off. Things are burning like crap, though. It's something like not burning into blowing through. I'm getting this call from Centerville number now. Am I recording? Yeah, I told are. my friend Steve Sherman I'm gonna start charging. I said, wouldn't it be cool if I had like a 976 number when people call me and ask me all this stuff? It's like 399 for the first minute, 99 <laughs> cent for each additional minute. And he goes, well, hold up a minute, stop the clock. All right, and then he talked about something. And he goes, all right, you can start it back now. I'm like you ain't never gonna pay me. I know. <laughs> Finally, a weld that looks like a weld. Ricky, zoom in on that. I know John Wright will see this and he'll make fun of me. I don't care. Whatever, John Wright. <laughs> I'm just out of practice. Apparently, I'm just out of practice. <clears throat> Apparently, that's the thing, is I just need more practice. You're probably dead. I'm sure John would agree. Plus, you know, my welder was acting up a little bit, and Neil kept insisting I bring it by for him to look at. And then as soon as I did, he stole my welder and gave me this welder. <laughs> it's a totally different welder. And, you know, I, I'm blaming some of my inadequate welding on the fact that this ain't my welder, man. Right? <laughs> this is Neil Spence's welder. Apparently, well, he went to the Ray Charles School of Welding, too, where you just add more welds. Hey, one baby. Uh, yeah. One weld's 
good six welds or better, right? <laughs> they call that like a base pass and a calf weld or how, yeah. What's the technical term, Ricky welder? The first one's your base pass, then you got your usually two cap welds on either side, but that's usually on pipe. Nosing around my garage or what? Jeez. Kids, they never go away. What's the best part about welding is when you're welding and you're welding rust or grease or garbage. And it goes to popping, mm -hmm. and a little ball of molten steel pops up and rolls down into your ear. And you can hear it sizzling in your ear. It's just fantastic. That's like the best feeling ever. There it rolls down the back of the helmet into your shirt. Yeah. When I was a kid, my dad came home from work. He had a job. He's had a few jobs welding, but he had one. Um, we worked at a place building elevators, general elevators in Orlando. And he came home one day and he had a gauze patch right here. And you could see the hole in his shirt and the gauze patch through the hole in his shirt. Okay. And he was welding, he was holding a, holding a metal beam and welding over his head with some 7018 and slag went in his pocket. <laughs> and just burned into it. And he couldn't let go of anything, so it just like burnt, about burnt his nipple off. <laughs> I bet that hurt. Yeah. Somewhere some um, cold zinc galvanized spray too. Is it not in your truck anymore? In the bottom drawer? Is it in my truck? It used, that's the last can I remember is where we put it. That's probably where it is. That was in Ideal? Yeah. That's probably where it is. So, apparently... Matters, you know, the angle of the dangle. <laughs> so it looks like it's something I can roll around. Jeez. It's like one well to well great. I think it's something to do with this piece of drug or something. So like I get a super nice weld and then the next thing welds like crap. That's Ricky. That's <laughs> the way Ricky's holding the camera screen on me up <laughs> Gotta have that one stabilization finger in there. I wish I had a picture. I wish I had my phone and I could take a picture of Ricky video on me right now. With my belly stuck out. Y'all can see the classification. That's what it is. It's that damn galvanized because that first ugly pass pops its way through there and then you turn right around and go back over the well and it smooths right out. Still looks like Fido's ass, but whatever. What are you laughing at, Jagger? Be careful, he's gonna have you weld in the next pass. Ricky, let me see that. I need to look at the little panel. Oh, I'm just gonna put one in here and one more in here for the strap pipe on. 
pipe strap on. That does not look like the right measurement. That does not look like it's the long. It's supposed to have a bracket that bolts to the top. I don't know. Shannon, I hope you gave me the right measurement. Holy cannoli. Cannoli, that thing is... Jagger, pull that right there. Pull them apart a little bit. Ah, that's not working. That's no donut. That makes no sense at all that it drew up that much. A well, a couple of those pieces were a different length. Yeah. You got a hammer? Let me just use this one spot. Um, I mean, I have a hammer. Sounds like it's a good quarter inch from going in. Well, it's weird because right here, I mean, it's about sliding in. Yeah, it's nowhere near as bad. I didn't think that that one. Oh. Um, I thought I held these up, but only one of them was short. But apparently. Jeez, man. No, well, let's cut it back apart now. I'm not cutting this shit apart. It's getting put back. It's getting. I got a hammer. <laughs> Run for my life. Try it again. I keep forgetting to hold the phone in front of the flash and I keep looking at the light. It's like a... Um... Right here, are you going to have some burn eyes tonight, Ricky? <laughs> Y'all, if Ricky has to go put potatoes on his eyes or go get them drops at the hospital, it is not my fault. <laughs> and I am going to make fun of it. I definitely have... He knows better. Definitely have had the sunburn eyes before and that, that's just miserable. It's like blinking with sandpaper. Whatever. <laughs> He's getting a close up. 
Whatever. I'll just edit it out. <laughs> yes, yeah, it looks terrible. 30 minute video, 10 seconds. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's take a video of this, all right? All right, now, that. All right, then I can edit that together. Oh wait, I wasn't recording, I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ass. Dude, when it's cold outside, you take your hat off and set it down for a long time and then put it back on your head. It's like a um, holy freaking ice pack. Block of ice. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that'd be fine. Once you bowl a panel to it and put it in the ground, Ricky can make it look good, can't you, Ricky? Oh yeah. Give me back my <laughs> 